Welcome to American Built Exotics, where I'm building a Lamborghini Diablo from the ground up. It's not a real Lamborghini. It's definitely not a kit car. It's just American Built Exotic. As I alluded to in my last video, this is a very small channel on a budget. I'm not even small potatoes. I got another tater tot video. I'm gonna go over a welder that I picked up. So I picked up a Lincoln Aspect 375. This thing is an absolute beast. I got the cart there and also got the water cooler torches and stuff uh, so we're going to get this thing set up these things are fourteen thousand dollars new i bought it used i wish i could say i bought it for pennies on the dollar but i bought it for dimes on the dollar and soon to be laying dimes with it let's set it up real quick so both devices just have these feet that drop into those eyelids try to drop it in and then they just push in i can push this by holding the camera push it like that and have a bracket that'll just get screwed in and lock that in place and we'll repeat that process so you can see these have these steel feet Let's see if i can get these seated in here by myself there we go drops in there and then it's just push back push back like that again we got another bracket here are the two brackets we're gonna go ahead and bolt one there and one there all right bracket one Bracket two is installed. We're gonna go ahead and come around the back and we're gonna go ahead and put the control wire and the power for the water cooler. Just uh, plugs in 110 to the back of the welder and then we have a control wire for a water cooler. Right there. Got a tank here. This thing is massive. This is a 300 CF, 135 pounds. This is the big boy. I'm used to using the 150s or 125s, which is about half the weight. What's nice about this cart though, which is gonna come in handy, it's got the easy loader, such as tilts. I can probably even do this with one hand and show how easy this is. You're gonna need it for this big thing. Roll it on here. And it just tilts up can't put the safety chain on one hand, but I can load 135 pound bottle with one hand. Jeez, there we go, got it. It's nice to get a little travel disconnect here. Um, so those just quick, quick connects, pull them out. We can put our lead in here. Red to red, to red. quick connects, makes it nice. And then we have the coolant on, simple as that. Well, that's it set up. And one thing that's really nice is this has the nice torch. So this has the number 20 torch head that's uh, rated for 320 amps, which is nice. These are sweet heads. You get the amperage, which is still a number 20. And you have the dexterity. It's not a flex. That's one of the reasons too why I wanted a water cooler. Is having that smaller torch head give you that extra dexterity. It's again way more power than I need. I'll be running this in 208, 230 single phase, so I will be limited to only 250 amps, not the full 375. And you run that in three phase if you want it. But again, plenty, plenty for what I'm doing. Real quick, here's the uh, cups that I use. These things are phenomenal. They're awesome. These are super sweet. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a video on these. Thank you for taking the time for watching. If you made it this far, do consider subscribing. I do want to make a push to grow this channel. Goal is to hit a thousand subscribers. Even with tater tot content, there's no reason why we can't hit that. Do what you guys know to do. Sub, comment, subscribe. You got to do both, all three. Until next time, we out.